start next well, fight. Look at those faces, folks. Do you want to <laughs> see those faces get hit? And that's our next fight. Sheila Cardinal against Shelly Da Silva. Ah, oh, look at those faces, John. You don't want to hit those faces. Again, another massive size difference here, 23-pound advantage. So we'll see how that plays out in this fight. But you also saw how quickly they could turn that to their advantage. So again, a great, great job on that part. Now let's go to Mike Adams for the introduction. We're ready for our next bout of the evening. Now making our way to the cage. Yeah. Representing the pink team, Sheila Cardinal. Sheila Cardinal. And there you see she Sheila Cardinal. From the pink corner, coach, coached by Joel Kane and Leon Clay, she makes her way, John. Yeah, Sheila Cardinal at five foot seven inches tall, the first lingerie fighting championship fighter to be worn outside of North America. He was actually, she was actually born in Damascus, Syria. Uh, has wrestling as a base, says that her ground game is really her strength, and she's shown that so far in her career. Admits that she needs to work on her striking a little bit. Did pick up a split decision victory over Beth Moore at LFC 19 an 8-8 eight eight record in her career to date. A very exotic looking young lady, but very, very serious about her fighting. So looking forward to see her in action. And let's go now to our next fighter, Mike. And now representing the black team, Shelly Da Silva. <laughs> From Los Angeles, California, making her way in. Seven wins, four losses in her career to date. Comes in at 118 pounds, so she, again, she's gonna be facing a size difference. Uh, made her name in the South American Super League, where fans dubbed her the Hot Tamale, and I can tell you that has a lot to do with her attitude. She comes in full of spunk, uh, was extremely fiery at yesterday's weigh-in. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that led to fans calling her the Hot Tamale, and, and that's how fans in Honduras throw ripe tomatoes in the cage as a show of support. A little bit awkward situation there. But in a professional career to date, known most for her four-fight series with Jesse Santos, where the two took two fights from each other. So interesting to see what she does tonight. Well, we're ready. And folks, don't hate these women because they're beautiful. Now, let's go to Mike Adams. Introductions about number two to be three rounds, three minutes per round, and your referee in charge of all the action will be a room. And now introducing first, representing the pink team. She's five foot seven, weighed in 141 pounds. She's from Damascus, Syria. Ladies and gentlemen, she loves crash. Clean fight, touch of gloves, and go back to your corner. Referee Aaron Aruba giving the final instructions. And again, our three judges, Mike Kahn, Phil Lanneker, and Mike Martin, will be scoring this fight. Are you ready? You can see Shelly De Silva scaling the cage during the introductions. I was impressed with that everybody. vertical. Great vertical. So we're ready for these yeah, two easy. ladies again, the very first foreign-born fighter in LFC history, yeah. and that's... And you can see right away going to her wrestling technique, but Shelly De Silva does a fantastic job of trying to grab that guillotine choke as she falls her back. She is in full guard there. Trying to get, hopefully, to about a 70-degree angle, trying to move herself around there. She's got a good grip around the neck right now. Sheila Cardinal certainly no stranger to being on the ground, but this is a Cardinal was able to pull her head free. That was a good submission attempt there from the back. 
Now the Silva on bottom doesn't have the neck anymore. Tries to get a sweep to the top. And she's got she's got good leverage with that leg you can see. that she's got around her. But now she's going to get slammed. She's going to get slammed. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I felt that here. Yeah, and that really forced her to let go of that choke. A lot of credit to the Silva. Much smaller fighter, but she's going immediately to that guillotine choke every time. And the hair now starting and they'll get in the way. Yeah, I think getting a little warning there, but. And the referee, Aaron Aruba breaking him up and Call getting him back up. Is she all right? Yeah, calling for a stand up there. It might have been a warning for grabbing the hair. Might be why we're restarting here. Again, sometimes whatever it takes, if that's what it takes to get you out of there, let's get out of there. These two ladies. Very adept. Both of them are wrestlers, so they're going to be on the ground. Yeah, Sheila Cardinal again driving inside, getting the takedown, but falling immediately. I think she's comfortable there, John. Oh, she's pressing it up against the fence. And falls wow. on her knee, too. Big shots inside. And again, these fighters have had to alter the angle of those shots. They cannot hit the face of a woman wearing lingerie. Sheila De Silva tried to get to the back. Driving in for the takedown. Doing a good job, almost a flop technique in the part of De Silva to go ahead and fend off well, the it really takedown. Is. She's at such a size disadvantage, but trying to use technique to stay in this fight. And check out the flexion in those leg muscles. You see the quad, you see those flex there, and you see the oh, calf. Now good elbow. elbow. Oh, brutal elbows. I think that hurt Cardinal there momentarily. Going again to the guillotine choke. Shelly Cardinal in a lot of trouble here. She's using her power to try to slam out of these holes, and she does get free. Final seconds of the first round. Both trying to find a way to go ahead, get, find a place to land, and that's it. Round number one is over, and they're still fighting. Oh, my goodness. Referee Aaron Aruba's got his hands full here. They didn't want to stop. Shelly Silva, you can see why they called her the hot tamale down in South America. A lot of temper there. Well, interesting first round. You know, the difference in size, I would think it would be the other way around. Instead of one being on the bottom, the other would be on top. But apparently, that's where she preferred to go. So they, let's take a look at the highlights here in round number one. Yeah, well, I'm going to be interested to see how the judges have this scored because generally speaking, top position is considered the dominant place to be. And as you can see from the replay, when you're landing those punches, that's exactly why. But Shelly De Silva was going for that guillotine choke so often that Sheila Cardinal was, was defending quite a bit, even though she was in top position. She did have those big slams as well, though. So a lot of back and forth action that I really think you could score either way. I'm going to be interested to see how the judges have this. Well, the interesting part was, even though she was on her back, she was bringing the fight. She was the one that was dictating the pace. She was the one that, you know, the, the generalship in a fighting scenario was the one that De Silva was pushing. Yeah, you can see Shelly De Silva really has the speed advantage, and that's what she was trying to use to, to, uh, to gain points, essentially. Meanwhile, Sheila Cardinal, the power advantage, no doubt about it. Oh, and the hose now has got a run in it. Well, three or four runs in him. So you got to be observant. Most of these girls... Again, keep themselves in phenomenal physical shape. And most of it starts out by taking some kind of a physical class there to make them maintain themselves. And before you know it, they want to fight. And they want to take somebody on. And here they are. Leg kick straight in. And trying to kick that soft part of the area around that quad area where they become susceptible. Cardinal inside again. You can imagine she's going to look for a big slam to the floor. Trying to get the leverage right there, using her legs, wrapping them around. Beautiful toss. Doesn't follow up, but those hurt. Just gonna tuck in some of the costume back in. And you gotta love these outfits, folks. And that's what oh. Landre Fighting Championship is all about. Sheila Cardinal ducked into a kick there. Looks like she's okay. Was looking for the takedown, but walked right into a kick. And you see right away, Shelly De Silva looking for that guillotine choke. Hasn't been able to finish it yet, but keeps going back to it. You can see the, the grimace on her face there. She's trying to squeeze. But Cardinal, you think right now would pounce, you know, use that weight. Now the legs up high. Look at the left leg high on the shoulder, potentially going to set up a triangle choke, maybe an arm bar there. A couple different options with the left leg high on the shoulder like that. She's got to get out of there. 
Yes. Cardinal, if she can pick her up and try to slam her down. Cardinal has to be careful not to leave her arm behind. You can see as she's posturing. Now, slam her down. That's what she's going to try to do. Shelly Silva trying to set up that key. And just throws her off. Her neck hit the wire. That Referee Ron Aruba is right on top of it. And now she comes down, striking straight down. Shelly Silva showing her toughness there, just climbing to her feet and crawling. And down to the ground she goes again. Crash Cardinal just so strong. Oh, this is not a good position. Standing rear naked choke here. She couldn't finish the fight. Oh, oh a nice elbow to get out. Oh, and to the head as well. Beautiful transition to the knee bar. I think she's got a good hold on this knee bar. She's got a torque and get the angle. You can see Shelly De Silva has the, just can't quite get the angle on the knee. And she looks like she's in bad shape right there. She is not able to go ahead and free that left leg. Yeah, Shelly Cardinal's still in trouble there. You can see the left knee. Oh, you can tell the pain that's there. That left leg is still in trouble. And she's got to pull that. She's trying to pull that even more. Cardinal trying to go ahead and hit that soft part of the thigh of the Silva. Silva's just relentless on that leg right there, John. Yeah, right now not getting any pressure on it. Still in trouble, though. Oh, beautiful spin. But she hasn't been able to. Now she's going to try to work the leg. Yep. She's stacking up on that left leg. She's got her knee past the legs. Now it's going to be very difficult for the Silva to get any pressure on it. This is an amazing demonstration of flexibility. Look at this. To heck with the submission, just pounding away from the top. Another fantastic round. Oh, it's still cranking on the leg. Won't let go of it. Two rounds are in the books. Wow. De Silva kicks off as she gets up. She is refusing to quit. The bell really means absolutely nothing to Shelly De Silva. And look, she's going to go. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, my oh. goodness. She was going to go take the bench and go over there. Boy, there's some bad blood here. Fighters not taking advantage of their 60 second rest period here. They want to keep going. Michael, oh, oh my goodness! Spin now they're coming back. Whoa! Ref Aruba trying to wow. get in between them again. Michael Modest, the coach right there for Shelly De Silva, trying to keep her fighter down. But it's obviously that Sheila Cardo has just lost it. She yeah. has lost it. Well, you know, mixed martial arts is often a fantastic display of sportsmanship. That's not what we're seeing here. There's oh, obviously some goodness. bad blood between these two ladies, really paying no attention to the bell, fighting as long as they like, and then uh, nearly bringing a stool involved. Well, they're trying to calm her down. Here's some of the action right there in round number two. Here's that beautiful suplex. Those hurt. And again, you can see De Silva always going to that guillotine choke. It's always in her back pocket. Though at some point, she may have to let go. Yeah, don't, don't, don't leave that stool no, in there. I thinking the same thing. <laughs> oh, my God, that's a weapon. Uh, and you know what? Yeah. Cardinal just might end up using it. Yeah, round three was about to start. And Cardinal stool was still in there. The coaches, I'm going to assume, accidentally left it in there, though. I'm not sure. Look at that look. Look at that look by both of them. Silva runs in right away. Wants to take it back down to the ground, try to grab that leg. They demonstrated oh, wow. tremendous flexibility in that last round to be able to go ahead and get out of that. A very non-traditional approach to knee bar there, but the way she rolled. But De Silva had a real chance to put some leverage on that left leg. Couldn't do it. Now she's looking to readjust her grip. I am amazed that what they wear stays on. I really am. <laughs> it is amazing to me. Look at the Silva grabbing the top of the cage. That is not legal, by the way. Setting up the triangle. A flying triangle, but that was completely illegal in the setup. Yeah, but until Ron Aruba says so, she's going to go ahead and try anything she can. I'm surprised she's adhered to the rules about no strike in the face. Absolutely. That might be the only one she's adhering to. The Silva now wasn't able to get the triangle chosen late. Like maybe she'll transition to the arm bar, but uh, you can see Cardinal adjusting her hair there, so she must feel comfortable in the position. But she's got that arm. She's got she's got a pretty good lock on that arm, John. She does, but she's doing a good job of stacking from the top, keeping weight on that arm so that it's not being fully extended. Trying to position around there. And this takes great conditioning on the part of the fighter down below. Because really she's got to absorb the weight and then try to go ahead and get leverage from the bottom. Oh, and you can see hanging onto that arm. The Cardinal just lifts up, powers her way out of the hole, and now she's just grinding the Silva up against the cage. Oh, Cardinal with big shots in the body. 
Good ease inside as well. That's where she can use that strength and size to her advantage. Working that, that liver shot with that left hook to the body there. Grappling inside, the Silva's gonna struggle to match the power here. Look at this! Oh my goodness, what a move! Both of them felt there! Wow, De Silva in trouble here. De Silva yeah. at the bottom, and she really felt that thud. Yep, Cardinal briefly on the back. Now she's on mount as well. This is a fantastic position for Crash Cardinal. But she's got a lock, though. She's still working. De Silva's still working. Decided to give up mount to attack the arm, and now just peels her opponent up. And, and she's using the size the advantage now, John. Really is. De Silva's showing a lot of heart, but I think Crash Cardinal setting up another throw here. De Silva is on her feet. Cardinal follows, but setting up another beautiful and throw to the ground. She's got that. Oh, she was able to get out of there. Cardinal had the neck area of De Silva in her grasp. Cardinal just devastating with those throws. But you can see right away, De Silva again looking to attack the leg. De Silva, she worked so hard on that left leg. Just not going to be able to get it. Final seconds of the third and final round. Cardinal just punching away at the end. Spirited fight there. A lot of back and forth action. I'll tell you what, it's going to be interesting to see the way the judges have this. As you see, both women are just absolutely exhausted after that back and forth affair. Really interesting to see how you want to look at it because Crash Cardinal was the one with all the throws, with all the power techniques. She was the one that was really controlling the positioning. However, uh, Shelly Da Silva from her back was going for submission attempt after submission attempt after submission attempt. So a lot of offense from her back. Unfortunately, none of them seemed to really threaten. So before we go to the decision, of Mike Kahn, Bill Led Ledeker, and Mike Martin, the judges. Here's some of the action again. And that was the an there. Move you both pointed yeah. out. Not allowed to grab the top of the cage like that, but she still got the position. I thought that was really cool. The creativity from Shelly De Silva was fun to watch, but it was the power that we saw here of Crash Cardinal that really did the biggest damage. Look at these beautiful throws. The wrestling there from the Syrian really on full display. So. Listen, Vinny, I, I, this could go either way. A lot of back and forth action, but I, I, I would like to say I, I think Crash Cardinal did enough with those big power okay, I, you, you scored it. You scored it for Cardinal? I, I did. Okay. I did. But, again, Shelly De Silva from her back, you know, was she able to, to sway the judges with the multiple submission tests because Cardinal was on defense a lot from her back. It was a bit perplexing for her to choose that particular way of fighting, but... That's what she felt comfortable doing, so. Still a lot of tension between the two. I'll tell you what, a lot of times after a mixed martial arts fight, you'll see the competitors get up, shake hands, and say, hey, we went through a war together. I'm okay. That's not the case here. I, I think they're going to have to stand in between them when they read the judges' results, to be honest with you. That's why there's nothing worse than a scorned woman. That's what they never forget. They never forget, and apparently, even in fighting, they do not forget. So we are anxious now await. The official decision of Mike Kahn, Bill Ledeker, and Mike Martin, our judges. Let's go to Mike Adams for the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges scored this bout 30-27. Your winner, by unanimous decision, from Damascus, Syria, Sheila and Crash Cardinal. Well, let that be a lesson to De Silva. You gotta be on top. You can't be at the bottom and expect to go ahead and win a fight. She appeared to be comfortable fighting from that spot, John, but that is not something. And they're still going at it. They're still going at it. The Silva's still not convinced and she wants some more. Incredible. Except going in, just the feistiness of the Silva, the fire, the temper, the attitude, and it's still on full display. Joe Kane, the coach. Let's go! Grabbing Let's go. Cardinal Let's go. De Silva. Cardinal now taking her gloves the glove. off, they're throwing the their glove. gloves at her. They're taking the gloves. Any weapon she can find. Oh my goodness. Struck the cameraman in the head there with a glove. There's carnage there's, everywhere. But there's, there is bad, bad blood between these two ladies. Sheila Cardinal from Damascus. Now let's go ahead. Well, we wanted to get an interview with we the winner. We can't get an interview. Are you kidding me? These